Welcome back to Vibe Check. I have my girl Untouchable. We're about to get into the nitty gritty and find out what she is all about. What's going on, Untouchable? Hey, how you doing? Thanks for having me. I love the set. Everything look grown and sexy, so I'm Damn. definitely feeling the set. Damn, and you fit right in, okay? Thank Just to you. let you know that. So what's going on? You a comedian. Tell us a little bit about how you got started. Uh, yeah, definitely yeah. Uh, seven years ago when I decided to go on my journey as a comedian I had a little near-death experience and I just decided that if I would have died that day my obituary would have been like boring as hell so I didn't want to do that I decided that you know what I want to take on this whole new personality and I felt like anytime you have any type of footage you have anything with your voice and, and just you on it, I feel like that's the closest thing to living forever because people will always hear your voice. People will always just hear your name. So I feel like, to me, that's the closest thing to living forever. So I decided to step in the limelight and I've been doing it ever since. Oh, I like that, living forever. Okay, mm -hmm. but who told you like, okay, Untouchable? You are hilarious. You, you need to be a comedian. Because you know, people will tell me all day, oh my gosh, you funny, you funny, but that doesn't make me want to go and stand up and, you know, host a big room full of people. Mm -hmm. So what made you say, OK, no, this is the path that I really want to take. I understand you had a near death experience, but mm -hmm. was it something that happened while you was, you know, tell us about the near death experience first, if you don't mind. Yeah, um, I actually suffer from a brain aneurysm. And that's something that's like really a 50 50 chance, depending on time. So I feel like it was a reason for me to be here. You know, I was destined to make people laugh. One thing I remember is being with my mom when my mom was sick because I lost my mom at 13. So being with my mom when she was sick, I remember one of the times that I would mainly hear her laugh is when we would watch Comic View together. That was our oldest pastime. Every day, 10 o'clock, we would watch Comic View and I would watch my mom laugh through her pain. And I decided that's something that I want to do. I want to I want to be medicine for the world. I want to make people laugh at the worst times. You know, when people call me about, you know, anytime they're going through anything trauma. But I always let them know. I'm like, listen, I find a joke in everything. So don't call me if you're going to get mad because I'm going to joke <laughs> on everything because I just feel like laughter is the, you know, the medicine for the world. Yes, I feel like laughter keeps you young. Definitely. That, that's, and I'm always laughing. So I'm 25 today and every day <laughs> for the rest of my life. Hey, listen, claim that sister. <laughs> Go ahead and claim it. You, you? you know what I'm saying? So, OK, so before you had the near death experience, was you always named untouchable or this is something that the name you got after your near death experience? Um, I actually got the name right before the near death experience, which is where, you know, I was in a situation where I was, you know, working at this job and I would come in contact with all these, ne all this negative energy from all these, like all my coworkers, the female coworkers. And no matter what they said, it would never bother me. Never, nothing could never like touch me. So, you know, I started dating this guy or whatever. And you know how sometimes they cut up. So he went to cutting <laughs> up and he was able to get like, allow them a way to get through to me and to hurt me and to frustrate me and aggravate me. And, you know, I decided I was like, well, hold on. They couldn't they could never get to me before. So what is different? It was him. So I decided I'm about to drop this nigga on his head, <laughs> drop him on his head. And then I look back in the mirror. I was like, oh, shit, you back to being untouchable. And that been my vibe ever since. Nice. Ever nice. Since. So is it like an alter ego, like when you step on the stage? You definitely, know, do you def bring a whole new character out with you every time or? <laughs> <laughs> def definitely, I will say uh, Untouchable is definitely an alter ego myself. Uh, my, my name is Trelawney and when I'm on Trelawney vibe, I'm really chill. I'm really like laid back. I don't really want to talk to too many people. But once I get into my Untouchable mode, it's like, I'm here, everybody look at me, this is my spot, my, you know, I just feel like the alter ego is way bigger than the actual person. And I love it because, you know, I get to not apologize for shit because Untouchable said it, not me. You get it? Okay. Okay, so tell us a crazy story that happened hosting an event or performing on a stage. Like, I know you gotta have a crazy story. <laughs> you gotta have at oh, least God. one crazy story. Okay, so my funniest story, and this one I know, I'm like, you know what? I'm destined to do this because if you're able to uh, roll over after something happened and then just still just jump back into it, I feel like, you know, it's, it's for you. So I was at the Mocha Lounge and I was under Plus Pierre and Success Junior, which are heavyweight comedians in the Haitian community. So I was doing their uh, 
their event and I walk on stage, the DJ didn't play their song or something. So the crowd was like, oh, he didn't play your song, come back, come back. So I was like, oh, y'all want me to do my interest again? They like, yeah, do your interest again. I'm like, okay. I turn around and get ready to walk and just like, like right down the stairs, like right down the stairs. And I saved it, like I caught it at the end, I did save it, like mm -hmm. I didn't completely eat it. But everybody know almost falling is funnier than falling. So I was like, oh shit. And everybody saw it because they were looking. So I was <laughs> like, oh shit. So I just went back on stage and I made a joke about it. I was like, shit, ladies, y'all know when we wear our stilettos, we have to call our insurance adjuster and be like, listen, <laughs> okay. I'm in stilettos, six inches. Am I covered? You know, so all of everybody laughed and I was able to make it through my set. And at the end, oh man, they roasted me for the shit. For so long, they roasted me behind this fall off the stage. But I felt like in that moment, I knew that I'm not afraid to be myself, to make mistakes, to fucking fall off a stage and still come back and be untouchable. You know, so nice. that was, I think, the funniest thing. Okay, listen, did they catch it on camera? Because it's not funny if it wasn't caught on camera. Listen, I haven't <laughs> seen the footage. Anybody, if you have the footage, your life is in danger. If you have the footage, I'm letting you know right now. Because <laughs> that was one of my most embarrassing moments as a comedian. So I heard you from Dade County. You representing the 305. All day long. I'm definitely 305. I went to Holmes Elementary, Northwestern. Like, I'm like definitely 305. I'm from the Wall, Brother Store, uh, Trick Daddy, Trina, all of us in the same little areas. You know, I was a little younger, but my older sister and everything. So it's like, I'm 305 till I die. I never switch it up. You know, anytime I'm out of town and it's weird because I have braces, but I actually put <laughs> gold braces just because I'm so 305, okay. right? <laughs> so when I go in other places, they like, where you from? I'm like, ugh, bitch, stop playing. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to always represent 305 no matter where I go. Now, what's dope is we're about to go into this clip mm -hmm. of you hosting a sip paint yes. comedy show. Definitely. We're going to the... get into this clip right now. Okay. Yes. I would like to welcome y'all to Winners Wednesday, another Kiss the Mic production. Thank y'all for coming through fucking with us. We got nothing but hot shit hitting the stage tonight. We need our dads, man. My daddy in jail, y'all. Cut up my daddy. My daddy been in jail for the last 13 years of my life. He's just been raised in the phone. My daddy just been raised in the phone for 13 years. Everything sound like something to him. He said, my boy, sound you getting big as hell. 13 years. 13 years my daddy been in jail. Man, my daddy gay. I want y'all to start clapping it up. Give it up already for Pookie F, baby. Let's get it. Yo, 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 yo. Fuck it, goddamn. Cut DJ. That DJ Pandora. Nigga, I ain't even asked for that. I asked for motherfucking Kevin Price. That nigga gonna give me Lil' Kim. This nigga's with the folks in our rest. And we're back. Oh my gosh, that clip was so amazing. Like, Thank who came you. up with that whole idea? That's totally different. Yeah, definitely. I'm, a, I'm with Kiss the Mic Productions. And every third Sunday, every, I'm sorry, every third Wednesday, we have our own event at the Villa Lounge. 
and it's like grown and sexy. We have painting, we have poetry, we have comedy. Oh. We have a celebrity chef by the name of Jador Eats. We have different vendors that come out. So I just feel like, you know, the pandemic had the asses in. We're trying to bring the asses back out. So ladies, mm -hmm. if your ass need a breather, just come <laughs> out, you know, you can dress sexy and have a reason to, and nobody's gonna judge you, just come out. I mean, it's always a good time though, always a good time. Okay, so I have a question for you. Yes. If your older self mm -hmm. can tell your younger self something that you know right now, what would it be? Um, basically, uh, to be honest, I would always tell my younger self, like, slow down. You know, you have enough time. You don't have to rush things. You don't have to uh, jump leaps. A lot of times as women, we'll, you know, jump all these leaps and, you know, missing all these important parts in life. So if I can tell my younger self anything, I would say slow down. You know, you have time. You can slow down. That's dope. Yeah, we definitely got to slow down these days. We think we're missing out on something that we want exactly. everything to happen so quick. And uh, yeah, we definitely need to slow down. Now, when it comes to your career, do you have anybody that mentors you or do you have anyone that you look up to? Uh, yeah, for sure. I have uh, Queen Samore, which is I the queen her. of comedy. I love her. Like, I love her. <laughs> I love and, her. <laughs> you know, the thing about it is every time that I've seen her, she embraced me. Yes. You know, um, yes. when her last show was at the West Palm Beach Empire. I was there. You was there? I was, I was there. there. See how small the world is? <laughs> yes. I was definitely there. And they said, like, you know, due to the pandemic, she would not be doing her normal thing, which is taking pictures. And, you know, she always does that. She'll talk to every last person in the audience. And I think that is very humble, very, you know, mm -hmm. amazing of her. So when they said that, I was like, oh, wow, you know, I'm not going to be able to, you know, talk to her. So when she was walking out, I always told her, I, I told her, every time I see you, I'm going to bow to you. Like, I don't care. Every time I see her, I'm going to bow. So she was coming out and I stepped from behind and I did my bow and she reached in for this hug and she gave me this hug and it just felt like like damn yes. this person who you who you've been watching for so long who you you know who is your idol not only she know who you are but she's going to reach and she's going to give you this hug and the worst thing happened to me my phone was still on silent because of the event you know you can't have your phone mm -hmm. so my phone's on silent I made it home and I saw that she had DM'd me and asked me to come backstage and I didn't see it until I got home. Right. Oh, I'm glad you said that because I was able to go backstage and take a picture with her and everything like that. I yes. ain't want to rub it in and I like that, but... <laughs> I was so <laughs> sad. I saw my phone, she, I'm like, oh, what? Yeah, she is amazing. I love her. She is. Someone. I love her. Class act. Yes. Well, hopefully you guys can do something in the future. Some more hint, hint, <laughs> hint, hint, hint. That would Definitely be dope. A dream. I, that Definitely. would be dope if we can have like a female's queen of comedy show. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Uh, that that would be awesome. That'd who, be great. who else up and coming that you think, you know, make the cut? As far you, as up and coming? Yeah, as far uh, as comedy. So we can be on the lookout. So oh, you, of course. Uh, my homegirl, Shea Butter. Y'all can follow her, no net game, Shea Butter. She hot coming out of West Palm. They just had a sold out event with Fat and Funny, you know, uh, Kiva the Diva. It's like a small community of females because we actually in a male dominated industry. So the females are, it's a very small circle. So if I could give a shout out or to tell you guys to watch any other female comedians, it'll definitely be Shea Butter, Kiva the Diva, and uh, Julie Baez. Those, those are my three that I'll say they're ones to watch. Those are definitely the ones to watch. But if anybody want to book you to host or to just get up on the stage and bless the mic, how can they get in touch with you? Sure, if anybody is interested in booking me, you can follow me on Instagram under Comedian Untouchable. You can follow my manager under Kiss the Mic Productions if you're interested in booking me. I love coming out into events. I host private parties, baby showers, weddings, sets, like everything. Whatever event that you're trying to have and you want to add the funny, you want to add the sexy, you need to add the untouchable. So that's the vibe. And I know that's right, but we will be right back with Vibe Check. Prep, 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 Joe City. City.